till uh, February improve as a team, get uh, encouragement as well from tonight's game, and then uh, hope uh, that we have all, uh, nearly all our players back in the next round. Yes, we had a good start and uh, I believe overall it was a very intense game between two very good teams where you had to fight for every ball, to be focused. Uh, I felt that we had a good combination between uh, our usual game, our passing game and uh, our transition from defence to attack. And uh, we were highly focused to defend well together from the first to the last minute and overall I think uh, we looked always dangerous and uh, we were defensively uh, as a team we were very good. Of course we're frustrated at the end, you know, we, because we've defended very well and, and at 2-1 could have been 3-4-1. and four, one. Um, But um, as I said, we come away with a point, you know, Real Madrid beat Basel. And at the beginning of the competition we said that it would probably come down to the last game. And to have the last game, to win at Anfield, to qualify, I will take that. Well the idea was, I, I felt we needed a, more of a solid structure to the team. We played with two controlling players. His job was to not get ahead of the ball. It was to control the game from behind and stay close together, both defensively and offensively. Um, both good passers of the ball, but both players that can defend and get up to the ball and intercept. And and then Stephen in front of that. So he probably ran as much since 2009 in that uh, number 10 position. So, um, But I thought he was excellent in it. And uh, his job was to get up and support Ricky Lambert. And obviously Jordan and his running par and Raheem with his speed on the sides, he could feed them through and also his experience. So, um, and I thought he was excellent. All right, so some reactions for you uh, from Arsene Wenger and uh, Brendan Rodgers uh, about uh, the performances of uh, Arsenal and Liverpool uh, in matches played in the UEFA Champions League. We've made a quick change now uh, as we approach home stretch uh, on uh, Sports Tonight. We've uh, uh, brought in uh, Femi Adefeso. Uh, Femi Adefeso is in. Uh, Tunde Koiki and Pisayo have gone uh, to take uh, some rest. Well, Femi, good to have you on, on uh, Sports Tonight this beautiful Thursday. It's always a pleasure to be here. Mm, there's, a, there's a lot to talk about, really. Yes, yes, mm, from mm. across the world. Mm. Yeah. But let, let's start from home. And um, let, let, let's talk about the girls. What was the story? We know last week uh, we couldn't talk basketball, but a lot was happening in terms of preparations for the Champions uh, Cup for women? Yes, um, the, the girls are finally there now. That is um, First Bank Basketball Club, mm. the defending champions of uh, the Nigerian League and of course um, the Dolphins. Uh, Dolphins too. So both teams are currently in Sparks, Tunisia and proceedings will start tomorrow you know, for the uh, title. That's the 20th edition of the African Champions Cup. Um, first Bank have won it twice, mm. 2003 and 2009. So they'll be looking you know, to, to get uh, the third one which will make them the joint uh, top um, a winner mm. if they can't get the trophy there. But, but I like the, the shape of the two teams. Um, first Bank have recruited three new faces, although they are not new because they play for the Nigerian national team okay. they are based in the US. Mm. Um, the Madu, Sarah, Goke. So they strengthened. Yeah, 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 so they strengthened the squad. Also, Dolphins too strengthened. I have they took from the local you know, league here. Yeah. Um, first, the Porter Guard, who also is the point guard of the Nigerian national mm. field team mm. too. Um, Atos Rupe is also going to be in uniform for Dolphins. So um, they are looking good and uh, the two teams are saying they are ready to go. Ten teams are already qualified uh, and are in the competition mm. but the FIBA Africa is yet to announce the two wild cards that will be joining them. So mm. at the moment the fixtures have not been drawn so we don't know if it will be ten teams overall that will be playing or the two wild card teams have arrived already. Mm. Alright, still talking about the, the championship Femi. Uh, Nigeria will be involved apart from the teams. We have two referees picked by FIBA Africa. Yes, uh, two Nigerian referees. Yeah, I don't know which time I see this referee story. I like throwing stones at football. <laughs> <You know. laughs> we have uh, we have two have referees in football um, who are good enough for the for the nation's cup. Okay, let, let me rest. We'll get there. Let me rest it there. And then we are we are empowering our referees too. Yeah, they're empowering. Oh, that's good. Okay, seventeen referees quickly have been uh, mentioned, and two Nigerians will be there: Tunde Popola you know, of Oyo State, and of course Inka Famugueli of Oshun State. They will be um, officiating as referees you know 13 referees in all were called 
and then we had um, three technical officials and one you know referee um, assessor uh, five tunisians but nigeria has two we have kenya has two um, morocco has two mm. and then kenya too uh, has two so a couple of others they are congo one mm. one each you know amongst them mm. all right so yes uh, we move forward uh, and the uh, Japanese uh, National uh, for Basketball Association have been banned by FIBA Africa. Mm. Um, they, 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 right now, as I speak, they are not a member of FIBA. Mm. So they are not allowed to play basketball. Uh, the thing is, they, they refuse to, to unify obey, their league. Yes, they feel to, refuse to obey the, the FIBA statutes, which says uh, there must be one national, know, league, national league, a unified league. A unified league in your mm. country. So, so, so what, 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 why, why do they have, I mean, why do they have different leagues? Running in in Japan, where well, uh, breakaway league. Yeah, uh, I, I believe yes, a breakaway league, and there are two, you know, different factions. Okay. You know, there's one uh, that is uh, led by you know some uh, uh, some person, and um, his name now, and um, he's um, Mutsusiru um, Aito, you know, who is one, and of course the other one is Yakito Fakasu. Mm. You know, he's the leader of the Japanese Basketball Association, while one is the leader of the Japanese National Basketball League. So um, mm. FIBA. Uh, has thrown them out of FIBA, uh, FIBA Africa and why they are, why they actually took this decision is you know it's worrying because you know Japan will be hosting the 2020 you know Olympics mm -hmm. which is one of the key events mm -hmm. you know on the FIBA calendar so mm -hmm. there's a lot of worry there and they've um, sent a tax force you know to take charge of basketball in Japan as mm -hmm. we speak um, the Jet Secretary General and Mr. Bauman is there you know, to, to make sure that things go back to normal. Okay, Australia? Yes, cleared of, of match fixing. Yes, uh, if you recall, uh, during the World Cup, uh, they were uh, accused game against Angola. Uh, against Angola. And the rest of some of their key players, of the okay. players you know, because they qualified you know, for the round. But of course, after reviewing the tape, you know, with, with so much precaution, uh, with some uh, experts too, they found out that Australia didn't do mm. anything wrong. It was just a precautionary measure that mm. they took, not that they mm. wanted to sell out the game. Okay. Okay, let's close with uh, fixtures for the NBA. Yeah, tonight. Starting from tonight. tonight. Yeah, of course. Um, the Eastern Conference, uh, Chicago Bulls against Boston Celtics. The New Orleans Pelicans who are smoking hot right now. I uh, will be taking on the Atlanta Hawks. Dallas Mavericks uh, will be taking on Toronto Raptors. You know, who is uh, being um, managed, so to speak, by uh, a Nigerian, Masai Uju, who is the uh, vice president of basketball operations there. They are also doing very well there. And uh, New York Knicks, unfortunately, two struggling teams. They are 12th, mm. you know, in the Eastern conference against the 13th you won't believe this uh, Oklahoma is it on that can you imagine yes they've only managed to win those three games this season you know for that then we have the uh, Milwaukee Bucks against the uh, Detroit Pistons the LA Clippers against the Houston Rockets the Orlando Magic which has Victor Ladipo taking on the Indiana Pacers Phoenix Suns who hosts Denver Nuggets and of course LA Lakers too who have just won three games mm. all season uh, will be playing Minnesota Timberwolves um, I hope uh, they'll be able to get the goods today at Staples Center mm. all right so those are the fixtures for you of games in the NBA, games to be played this weekend. Of course, by the time we're back uh, next week, uh, we'll be able to take a look at some of those games and uh, reflect on uh, some of the other stories that we've spoken about on the program tonight. Femi, uh, that's the much that uh, we'll be able to take on, on the show tonight. Uh, we wish you guys the best of luck yes. as they get settled down in Tunisia. Yes, and I, we hope I, they come back with plenty I, of goodies. I, I'm a bit worried because I saw mm. uh, some pictures of some of them already in cold sweat. Feeling cold. So I hope the, the weather doesn't, you know, slow them down. Yeah, what, what they will do. But I, I'm too upbeat about these girls. I think we, we, we are out for a medal. I don't know what color, but I know they will surely come back home with something. 